Hello and welcome to CAD Graphic Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to make a professional looking working drawing. Okay, to start off, you'll need to open a new anti millimeter file, which I have already opened here. Okay, the first step is to right click on sheet 1 and press edit sheets and just change the size of your sheet to whatever you desire. In general, it's A3. Before we start, you do have an opportunity in changing your title block here. Well, I'm not going to change it much, just as a tutorial, but if I was doing an assignment or something, I would. But to change it, you just go to, you'd open up the new sheet one, and right click on ANSI large, and edit definition, and you'd come up with all this here. But what you can do, you can just highlight all that, delete it, and just make your own just you can put all these squares in, you can do whatever you want to it and then just finish sketch after and save it. yes and then there it is your new tile lock but as you can tell I'm not going to change anything now I'll just leave it as it is okay today I'm going to create what I'm going to draw for you guys and show you how to do it recently I just built a new penny board through Autodesk Inventor 2013 and I need to make one of the trucks, a drawing of one of the trucks. So I had to click base, and then where it says open an existing file, open, and locate where your parts are, and just double click on your part. There it is. Okay. As now it's open, you can see your part on the piece of paper, yeah? First thing you need to do is to click where you want your first um, front view to be there's your top view there's your right side view and then you'd want a part isometric part in the corner which will be colored later okay, once you've placed all your parts just right click and then press create there you go okay now to change your parts double click on one of the error box here. The first thing you need to do is change the view identifier. So this is the front view, so I'll name it front in capital letters as that's the standards. And if I would want to create the parts bigger and more visible, I'd change the scale, but I might actually just change it to 0.5 to 1. Uh, but actually, my bad, sorry. I'll just go back and change it 2 to 1. And yet again, that's big, too big. So I guess part one will have to do. Scale one to one will do. Alright, as you can see, where it says where we just written new front, it hasn't come up yet. It's because we gotta see the toggle label visibility will have to be turned on. There you go. You'll have to do this to every one of your parts. So view two, which is the above one, should be top view and then turn the light bulb on again and side view turn the light bulb on okay as you can see where the side is crossing over the working drawing area you just haven't changed it you only have to change it via the middle front section so just change it accordingly there you go alright with your isometric view, in general, this needs to be coloured. So just double click on the outside of the box bit again. You do not need to put any scale or anything onto it, labelling. But what you'd have to do is go to click shaded. And then it will come up with the colour of it. Okay, now that we've created our work in drawing, we can now dimension or anything else you would like to do to it. I'm just going to teach you how to dimension quickly. So, head to annotate, which is next to place views, and then dimension. There are lots of dimensions you could do, but just would come under all here, which is general dimensions here. Um, you can really dimension whatever you want. It's like zoom in and just click two parts you want to dimension. Yeah, I'll just do the outside of the trucks. As you can see, it's 166.02 millimeters. And straight head to OK when you've put the dimension in, unless you want to type in something like 
let's say full. Uh, I said fuck full size. You can do that, but probably not. You could dimension more, like dimension the arc there. We just click on the circle. I will automatically select the radius. You can. What else can we do? Just there's heaps of stuff you can just annotate and yeah, like that. Alright, now I just told you a dimension. I'm just gonna teach you how to do a few quick tips, which are actually pretty cool. Head back to place views, and then you have in the create you have overlay, detail, section, auxiliary, projected, and base. I'm going to teach you how to use a few of these. My most interesting one, I reckon, is detail. Just click on detail and head to your isometric view. It doesn't have to be the isometric view, but I prefer it on here. And whatever part you want more detailed, just pull the click it and just drag it out to where you want the detail view to be. Just click then and just put the part anywhere and that's a detail view of what you got there but again with this detail view we just did you're gonna have to put the identifier on you can change the scale if you want but I'll leave it and view identifier A and that's your part there let's put that next to it just so it looks you will generally change these around like that should actually be there and that's how probably working drawing is supposed to be laid out for what you can also do which I also like is section view where you just click wherever you want say if I want to section off let's do the top view just click top view and then you can select wherever you want um, I reckon we should just section halfway through it so click at a halfway point and just drag it down like that and press continue after you press the two points right click and press continue and then as you can see it will create a section off part where I, I'm just gonna stick this over here for now like not really much need but double click on it again and you can put color into it if you want or not I don't really like to but there's your section view as you can see now our uh, work and drawing is all all over the place so I'm just going to change the scale of a few things down to I'll do 0.8 just so everything goes down a little bit 0.8 I'll keep that as scale 2 to 2 because that's what a detail view is all about a closer view of it again you can put these closer and Autodesk Inventor already aligns them together as accordingly they should do you can change the position of the text if like the it's overlaying each other section view I'm gonna put back on the sheet now for use put that back up in the corner and that is how you create a proper working drawing but as I said you really don't need the section views or the detail views just yeah it's just there for you for whatever alright thanks for listening guys I do have a website in the middle of development under Dreamweaver if you want to check out check it out soon but thank you for listening